Welcome to Fair Game. I'm Christine Leahy, and my guest today is one of the most recognizable women's wrestlers on the planet, Barbie Blank, aka Kelly Kelly, is here. So good to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. You too. Uh, you're so huge on Instagram, so I've seen you all over there. Thank you. But before you became this big wrestler and who you are today, you were a gymnast. Yes. Did you ever think that that was maybe your career path and doing that before you got into wrestling? Yeah, um, I started at three years old and my uncle actually owned the first gymnastics gym in Jacksonville, Florida, which is where I'm from. And my mom was like, okay, I'm gonna enroll you. I was like, I wanna do gymnastics. I even, you know, I'd love to tumble around and stuff. And at the age of six, I started competing. Um, and that training was so hard at six years old. Like go to school and then you'd go to gymnastics from five o'clock to eight. My mom would bring food in the car after dinner. I have to do my homework in the car, go to sleep every, I mean, five days a week. So you were like a legit gymnast yeah. on that path. Oh yeah, I was, I loved it. So going from gymnast to cheerleader, mm -hmm. that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> but then cheerleader to WWE, how exactly did that jump happen? Um, you know, it was so, I used to watch wrestling with my dad when I was like 13, 14, Stone Cold was like my ultimate favorite. And that was like our, our favorite thing to do together with me and my dad was watch, you know, wrestling. My mom would never let me watch it. She was like, turn that off. You can't. Why didn't she so, let you watch? She just didn't like it. She thought it was too violent. They cussed, you know. She, like my mom's side is super southern, like old school. Um, so it was fine. Like when I was with my dad, I watched it, and it was great. And then you know, I got 16, and that wasn't really cool then, right? Yeah. Um, and I was just modeling. I was doing modeling. I was right out of high school, and they approached me. WWE called my agent and asked if I wanted to try out and be a wrestler. And you were cool with it right away. You know, I, because I, I was going to school actually for broadcast journalism. Okay. It was six months in, and I just, I didn't love it. I was like, I want to, I don't know what I want to do. And so when the opportunity came, you know, for WWE, my mom was like, go for it. College will always be there. Um, go and try out and see what happens. Okay, so your mom was on board now. She was, because she saw how excited I, and I, I've always wanted to do entertainment. I just didn't know what I wanted to do. And so she was like, obviously you're grown now. I, you know, you can go and do this. Um, I think it'd be a great opportunity. So wrestling back then was a lot different. Yes. And your dad, and you were watching it together. Yes. Your dad had to know what might be coming. Was he totally cool with this? He was, I mean, my parents were my number one supporters. Um, they just, they always were, they, you know, didn't care what I was doing. They were just like, give it your all. Like, you know, we'll, we'll be behind you. Um, so of course, you know, and especially with how I started and how I came in, uh, the part that I was playing, it was not something that my parents were excited about. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so tell me about that part you were playing. Cause I, I read a little bit about they wanted you to basically do strip, a striptease yes. and that mm -hmm. was not your forte. No. <laughs> Especially at 19 years old, like, and oh. I had no rhythm. I was not a dancer, um, and so yeah, I was an exhibitionist, and I would have to, I would have like a one minute dance routine, basically where I'm taking my clothes off, and my jealous boyfriend on the show would like come up and cover me up. So that was my role that I played for many months, and my first night I debuted, I didn't tell my parents or my 80 year old grandmother who was watching at home oh, no. what I was doing. And we're live, so we go, <laughs> so it goes live. And all my family immediately calls me and they were like, why didn't you tell us that's what you were doing? Oh my, they were like kind of embarrassed. And I was like, I knew you guys would be mad. And I was like, it won't last forever. This will, you know, this is just for right now. This is just to get my foot in the door. It'll be fine. And so as time went on, you know, that gimmick ended and I was able to get into wrestling, but. Did your dad keep watching? <laughs> he did, oh. he did because, he, you know, obviously didn't want to watch that part, but like there was times where I would take moves from the men. Mm -hmm. um, I got hit with a kendo stick over the head. And I don't know if you've ever like, th those things are- Have I ever gotten hit in the head by a kendo stick? <laughs> no, I have not. <laughs> well, they're not I fun. can imagine. It's really, it's, it hurts. And yeah. um, so this was a guy's gimmick. He would come out and he would hit somebody with a kendo stick. And they were like, you know, one night, I was only a few weeks in, Vince McMahon's like, okay, you're gonna get hit with the kendo stick tonight. And I'm like, all right. So I call my parents, I'm like, what are you, and they're like, well, you just take it, you know, you'll <laughs> just, <laughs> it'll be fine, it'll be fine. So I was like, okay. So I rehearsed it and the guy who does it, he's like, oh, it's just gonna be like this. Like, put your head down, it's just gonna be like a little ding. And I was like, okay. So we, live television, I go, we're about to hit my, the guy who I'm seeing on the show, he like, uh, pulls me in front of him. The guy whips the thing back and just nails me. And it, 
and I went back and I remember just, I thought, I, I think I was like, oh my gosh, I'm concussed, like I saw stars. And I, my mom immediately calls me the second I get to the back because I was uh, on the verge of tears. I'm lying there, they had to stretcher me out, which was like part of the gimmick, right? They yeah. stretched me out. So I go to the back and Vince, I open my eyes and Vince is standing, he's like, that was a hell of a bump, are you okay? And I was like, yeah. And so I walked to the back and all the all the guys and the girls were like lined up to see if I was like crying. Cause it, you know, you gotta like- Be tough. Yeah, you gotta be tough. Sure. And, and they love to see women and like, if she can't, you know, let's see if she can take this. You know, cause it's a very, like it's a tough sport. Yeah. And so I was like, okay. So the guy I was seeing at the time, he was like, don't let him see you cry. Don't the guy you were seeing like, he was in a real wrestler. life or? In real life, yes. Oh, he was a wrestler too. Got it, mm -hmm. okay. And he was like, don't let them see you cry. Don't, don't, don't. And I'm like, okay. So I like get it together and I like walk back. I'm like, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm good. And I get to the locker room and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm in tears. I'm just like, this is, it was awful. It was so awful. But I would, my family would watch and you know, cause they would always, they were worried too. So my mom calls and she's like, oh my God, you made that face where you're about to cry. Are you okay? I was like, it really hurt, but I'll be fine. I wonder which was worse for them though, watching you'd have to do the strip tease or potentially getting hurt. Oh, That's it, tough. They, they, it was hard. Like my mom would come to a lot of shows and she would get so nervous about like me getting hurt. I, after every match, she was my first phone call. She would call me immediately. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh my gosh. Yeah. So how did Kelly Kelly come about? So Vince McMahon gave me like 15 names. And he was like, you can pick, you know, out of these names. And I liked Kelly. So I was like, okay. So he was like, okay, we'll go with Kelly. Barbie didn't work by the way? Well, it's trademarked. You can't really use Barbie. Oh, okay. I was okay. like, oh, I was so bummed about it though. I was really upset. I was like, wow. Um, so the first week I went in, they were like, okay, we're gonna go with Kelly. So I was like, okay. So then the second week, they're like, okay, we've changed it. It's Kelly Kelly now. And I'm like, okay. So I didn't know this, but years down, years later now, I know that it was from a Cheers episode. Um, there's a song that's, uh, her name, like the bartender's name's like Kelly Kelly and it's just a song that's like Kelly, Kelly, yeah. Kelly. Yeah, so. So you are Kelly, Kelly, yeah. Kelly, Kelly. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's go back to that era though. It, okay. it was very interesting. Yes. And very different from today. Probably wouldn't even be allowed today. Right. How would you characterize? that time? I mean, to look back, it was 12 years ago when I started, and to see how far women's wrestling has come, I mean, I was strip teasing on a <laughs> on live television and getting beat with a kendo stick and all this stuff, and to now, it's such a, it's the women have taken over. And it is so amazing to see where we are at. When they came back and they've started this whole women's revolution, I was like, I wanna be a part of this. I want to be, I want to be in it. And um, yeah, cause I retired five years ago and it was still kind of, the women still weren't really featured as much. And so, uh, you know, as time went on and they're at the place they're at now, it's just amazing. So Ronda Rousey is getting into this now. Yes. Um, well, first of all, what do you think of that? And what do you think she's been able to do? I think it's amazing. I think what she's doing for the sport and for WWE is so huge. And she's caught on so well. Cause I can't imagine going from UFC to like real fighting into WWE where it's like you, you have to hold back and you can't fully, you know, you're tr you've been training your whole life to really beat somebody <laughs> up, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I just think she's owning it and she's doing such a great job. If I were one of the wrestlers that was fighting against her, <laughs> yeah. I would be so scared that she oh. would accidentally flip. Me too. I'm like, that's why I'm like, I, I don't think I could ever get in the ring with her. Cause you know, <laughs> she's capable <laughs> yeah. of so much more. Yes.